What's up guys, it's Jana. In this video, these rugs are all gonna come to life. Stick around to the end, we got something special for you. So what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling the yarn from the inside of the bundle. The bundle will have uh, a loose end on the inside and a loose end attached to the paper. You're gonna wanna pull from the inside. line and then I'm skipping one so I'm really going two over so an empty space and then the next space. count an empty space and then the next space. every other line basically and you'll be able to see how uniform you are <laughs> okay, so we just got all of the green in, filled pretty clean, I, I think I'd say so myself. Now we're going to finish with the white uh, background. Okay, stringing the white yarn. Okay, so we have the white yarn ready to go. Let's fill it. Not much color change left. Literally all solid white. Stay tuned to see the finished piece. Now I could technically have done lines this way and done less of them, but keeping it in uniform will keep the rug looking better um, and more crisp than changing the direction of the lines. That's why they're all facing straight up and down. At a certain point, it starts to get super uniform and it starts to feel like I'm doing copy machine work. That is some sweet line work right there. I'll tell you what. This is why it's important to have a evenly stretched canvas so that your line work can be extremely uniform. piece here and we're moving on to the next one. This should be super simple, only like three or four colors. This one was incredibly easy. Um, let's knock this out. Let's get to it. The yarn uh, just slipped out of the gun and the reason being is because the spools themselves or the bundles, um, when they get a little deflated, the weight of the thing, it just doesn't allow the yarn to be pulled out. So that's what happened. I gotta fix it. this same color I'm gonna move up to here and continue on instead of changing my yarn and wasting time and slowing down 
I'm just gonna move on, knock the same color out here, and I don't think it exists anywhere else on this frame, so let's get to it. so I can have two yarn threads going at the same time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull from the inside of the spool, not the outside part, the inside. I'm gonna take about, about that much, sounds right, from the center, and then I'm gonna cut that thread that's coming out of the center, and then pull from both centers, and I have two spools. Two strings, and now one is now two. So we just finished Jerry. Um, I'm going to wait until these other three pieces are completely done before I apply glue to the whole canvas. And I'm gonna get into those right now. Let's go. Day two, we're crushing it. Let's get to work. Right here, I'm just gonna be filling in the arm with vertical lines, and the reason being is because if I do them uh, horizontal, you'll be able to see that on the other side, the fluffy side. So that's why we're gonna keep it all uniform. That's it. Let's get to glowing. If you guys enjoyed that content and want to see more, click like and subscribe down below and we'll catch you on the next one.